Michelle here from Sparkle Me Pink and today I'm going to be telling you all about how I have been told that I might have cancer. So um, be, don't be worried, I will explain everything and I promise you this is not just a clickbait. Unfortunately this is something that is real and I am dealing with and I wanted to sort of share this story with you now because even though I've been dealing with this for a couple years it's kind of coming together right now and I'm realizing that others out there might be having the same symptoms and put it off and put it off and put it off as much as I have and have gotten to the point that it it, it needs to be taken care of. So if you at any point feel like you are feeling any of these symptoms, I urge you to go see your medical professional and seek seek advice. <laughs> um, go take care of yourself and get checked and that's what I'll say about that. I, I am not a medical professional. This whole video is going to be my experience with all of this and um, definitely check with a real professional on all the details for everything. So I have been told that I might have thyroid cancer and I don't know how to take that. It's a little bit emotional. It's a little bit angry. It's a little bit sad. It's a little bit happy that I finally know what's kind of going on with me and I have a solution and I'm going to get it hopefully fixed here um, to, to let to kind of give you a little bit of an anatomy check the thyroid is right here on your neck and I was told that I have nodules on the right side so let me show you that guy right here he's a big one I hope the light's not too bright that you can actually see it. Also, the thyroid itself is very inflamed right in here. Um, I first got it checked back in 2012, which was about a year after I had my last child. I, at that point, was still feeling as if I had just had a newborn. I was waking up exhausted. My skin was super dry. My hair was still falling out. Um, in the first couple months after having her, I had initially lost the baby weight and then slowly started gaining it again, which was very discouraging and it didn't help the postpartum depression. It, it kind of amped it up even more. Um, I'm not going to get upset. I wanted to keep this like a positive and light video. Um, what was some other things? I, I just, I was feeling hot and cold in my hands and my feet and just generally uncomfortable in my own body. Like it just didn't feel like me. So I finally went and got checked by my general practitioner early 2012. Um, she kind of was palpating around in my neck and said, yeah, there's something kind of there, but don't worry. Um, here is some lab orders to go get some blood work, an ultrasound and a biopsy, and then go follow up with an endocrinologist. So I had to kind of search around and find one of those. I went and had all the tests done, which by the way, I had a core biopsy, not a fine needle biopsy for my very first one. I've had several biopsies over the years. All of them were fine needle except for my very first one, which I went to alone and that was, that was not good. If you have a choice, go with a fine needle biopsy, not the core biopsy. But, um, uh, but and also kind of in summary, I'm going to go lightly over the details of everything I've been dealing with, but in full details in the blog post down below. So if you feel like I'm missing anything, maybe click through there and see if I listed it there. And if not, feel free to reach out through me. Um, through the comments down below or through email if you're feeling a little bit shy. I am happy to answer any of the questions you have or if there's anything I'm forgetting. Okay, so I had the biopsy. I got checked by the doctor. He had me on and off medicines for a couple of years and different things, trying to regulate my thyroid hormone and a couple other things with prediabetes and my, my depression and anxiety. I got to see a psychiatrist for that. That was fun. Um, and then I lost insurance and then I wasn't able to take any of my medicines and that's when it got really bad. I went cold turkey off of all of my medicines, thyroid, diabetes, and depression, anxiety, and my body went for a whirlwind and you guys kind of got to see a little bit of it when it comes to my weight in a video. I did link to it in the blog post and you could see I'm just very puffy and I'm very, I gained a lot all of a sudden and that is what that is from. <laughs> Um, at that point, I was only advised to have my thyroid removed if I felt like I was having discomfort or pain from it. 
And really the only thing that annoyed me with having my um, thyroid being inflamed or my nodule was if I had a cold or I was really stressed out and my, I felt like my frequency was really high, I would find myself massaging this area to kind of ease that achy pain. Um, I also stopped sleeping on my left side I found as it grew because it would kind of constrict my breathing and swallowing. I always slept on my right side, which then created even more body aches when I woke up in the morning and I just felt all kinds of uncomfortable. Um, so at that point, they said having it taken out, you can do it, but it's really not necessary. Fast forward to this year, I had another biopsy in August and a week later I was getting a phone call from a new endocrinologist saying that I needed to meet with her immediately and to go over my results. So I went in and she told me that I have a suspicious biopsy, which is different than any of the other ones that I had previously. Previous ones were either um, unconclusive or they were negative. But this one was showing that things were kind of changing, things were growing, and she was a little bit worried about that. So I went ahead and met with different surgeons and I finally found one that I was comfortable with and I went ahead and scheduled surgery for November 8th, 2016. I am going to have this half of my thyroid taken out. They will test it while I'm still on the table. A, um, what is it, a frozen core biopsy, I think they call it, and they'll, they'll check it. If it's negative, then they'll kind of close me up and call it a day. If it is positive for cancer, then they will go ahead and remove the rest of the thyroid, and I will have to meet with an um, oncologist for further treatment. I hope it doesn't come to that. I hope on Tuesday night I am like tweeting and snapping you guys saying like, hey, only half of it's gone. I look forward to getting better. <laughs> and um, yeah, let's hope for that because I don't want to have to deal with all the cancer stuff. Um, that part of it is a little bit scary. <laughs> Luckily, he has kind of eased me a little bit in saying that if it is thyroid cancer, it's a very slow growing, slow moving cancer. It's not likely to spread. So having this removed, they'll kind of look, you know, poke around and see things and it will most likely be okay. So if you're going to have any type of cancer, he said thyroid cancer is the one to have if that's a positive thing to mention. <laughs> um, so I will be going through with surgery. I am not looking forward to the afterwards. Luckily, I have some family here. Um, and I'm gonna get emotional about this to help me out. Um, in the past, I didn't really have that support. And now that I have that, it means more than anything to me, which is another reason why I wanted to reach out to you guys um, here with my story at this point, because I have gotten so many emails over the years saying like, hey, you know, we watched your videos and I saw that you were a little bit swollen on the side. Have you gotten that checked out? How are you doing? Uh, people would even follow up months later asking how I was and like you seeing that you guys care and people will watch this and they're listening. I hope that if you are feeling any of this, that you get this checked um, and don't be stubborn about it like I was. And I put it off for years and years and years and I kind of wish I would have just had this taken out from the beginning. Um, I want to stop thinking about it. I don't want to wake up every day thinking like, am I growing cancer today? You know, like the probability of that is a little bit greater now that I know that I have a nodule. I know everybody could wake up and be like, oh, you know, another day growing cancer. But this kind of has brought that thought forward for me and it's scary. So um, I wanted to kind of share that with you guys. <laughs> I do want to come back and do maybe an afterwards like video if you guys are interested in that at all. Please let me know. Uh, if you want to know a little bit about the surgery itself, we can kind of go into that. I love to hear what you think or what you want to hear about. What are you, some of your concerns or questions? I'm sure there's a million and a half things I'm forgetting right about now. Um, if so, please check the blog post or comment or email me like I said. And yeah, I think that is about it. I'm gonna stop rambling and go finish cleaning up to get ready for um, uh, Logan's mom is gonna come and stay and help us out. So yeah, I need to go clean up a space for her and clean up my makeup and maybe hide some of it. <laughs> All right guys, thank you so much for watching this and send me some positive love and hugs through the internet um, as we are going through this. And if you're watching this um, the day that it's posted, then I probably am still in surgery. So I do appreciate those positive thoughts. Uh, again, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. All right, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.